before using the fillet edge command to round all of the edges of this handle model, I would like to first determine what the largest radius fillet possible across the entire model is. So I'm going to use the fillet edge command with the default radius value of 1. And I'm going to select all of the edges of the model and display a preview. If I zoom in on this tight area here where the handle meets the base, I can see that this fillet surface does not trim properly with its neighbors at a radius value of 1. So I'm going to click Set All in the command line and type a lesser value. I'll try 0.5 and I'll click Preview again. So at a radius value of 0.5, everything trims nicely against one another. And now I have a starting point that I know that I can't go above in this particular area of the model. I'll press the Escape key and I'll run Fillet Edge again. Now I'd like to start at the top of the model with some large radius fillets. So I'll click Radius and Enter 2. And then I'll select these top edges as well as these inside edges and Enter. I'll click Preview again. And I don't see any trimming problems, so I'll complete that operation. And now that I have a radius of 2, any radius that joins with that should be less than 2. This will make it less likely to have any trimming problems. So I'll run Fillet Edge again. And I'll enter 0.5 as my current radius. And I'll select all those edges leading into the fillets I just created. Enter and display a preview. And I don't see any trimming problems in the preview. But I would like a larger round on the top edges and also in the middle of the handle. So I'm going to click Add Handle up in the command line. And with my mid object snap on, I'm going to drop a handle in that midpoint and enter. I'm going to zoom in on that handle. And I can interactively drag this handle to change the size, but I can also just click on it and type a value. So I'm going to enter a value of 1. And now I'd like to place additional handles also at a value of 1 on the opposite edge and also the ends of the handle. And I can place copies by holding down the Alt key, left clicking on that first handle point, and then moving to the midpoint of the other edge. And I'll do that one more time. Hold down the Alt key, left click, release the Alt key, and move that handle to another location. And one more, hold down Alt, left click, release Alt, and place the copy. And now I'll click Preview again. And I don't see any trimming problems. So I'll enter to complete the fillet operation. And now I'm going from a radius value of 1 down to a radius value of 0.5. And from a radius value of 1 in the middle of the handle down to a radius value of 0.5. And now I'll use fillet edge one more time at a radius value of 0.5. And I'll select all these edges, including the tightest area of geometry, which I know can't be greater than 0.5. Enter, and let's preview. And I don't see any trimming problems, so I'll press Enter to accept that. And now I've completed filleting this handle model. Working from a large radius down to smaller radii, and finally to the tightest area of the model and the smallest radius possible in that particular area.